uh, if Tobias said, um, it doesn't matter, I'm going to say to you, to all of you, come to your senses. Come to your senses. I like that to be one of my key phrases. Come to your senses means uh, several different things. First of all, come on, really? It doesn't have to be hard. Come to your senses. Life doesn't have to be hard. It shouldn't be hard. Come to your senses about your own spiritual journey. There is no journey. Ha! Joke's on you. Come to your senses. It's not a journey. I'll get into that in a minute. But why did you put yourself into a journey? Uh, Why did you put yourself on some hamster wheel uh, into spirituality? Because you like spinning? Because you like sweating? Because you like working hard? And you think the universe cares that you're working really, really hard? Doesn't give a damn. Doesn't give a damn. Come to your senses about what energy really is and about who you really are. You're, you're, not, you're not energy. You're consciousness. You're the I exist. You, you come to your senses. You attract energy. You design energy. You are an ener- your, your body is an energy design. Your thoughts are energy designs. But you're not energy. You're consciousness. You're the very thing that brings the energies in and designs them and creates them and puts them into your reality. You're the very thing that has created nature, the thing you love so much, that is life itself, that is the design. Come to your senses. Stop making things complex when they don't have to be. Uh, relationships – and and I tread on thin ice here sometimes, but I like ice fishing. So. Uh, <laughs> But I, I say to, to you, uh, this is one of the deepest ones. Come to your senses if you're not in a good relationship. Bye-bye now. There's, God doesn't care if you, you didn't get married for an eternity. Uh, no, you didn't. A- and there's a lot of old bad karma. And so what? You hurt their feelings for a little while. Uh, uh, so what if yeah, they become Drunks. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. <laughs> doesn't matter. No, I'm, I'm very serious about that because one person drowning is bad enough, but two is worse. If you know what I mean, right? They're going to drown anyway. Not all. Not all of your spouses or lovers. And some of you are very happy, but if you're in a bad relationship or a bad family, by now, and you're going to be a little lonely for a very short period of time. But that's it. And come to your senses here about even, even your own body uh, and about your own control and your rules and how you ha- – come to your senses. Keep it really simple. Really simple. Come to your senses. But the other side of all that is come to your senses, your sensuality, what is beyond your eyes and your ears. Come to feeling. That is what frees you, really, your senses. That is what gets you out of the zoo, not thinking your way out, because you just think a bigger zoo with bigger walls. But you are a sensual being. I I told you last month, this is the year of being in our senses, coming to our senses. Now, the mind asks right away, well, what are they? And I say, it doesn't matter. I say it really doesn't, because they're there. We're not creating them, and we don't need to define them. We're not creating senses. We've got 200,000 to explore that are already there. We, We will create some new ones, but come to your senses, because there's a different way of living that's not in the mind, that's not from uh, control, that's not in limitation. Come to your senses. They're already there. They're already so beautiful. And they're going to help you understand design and beauty in a way that the mind never could, never was intended to. And here's where I come back to – now, don't sit here and think that we're going to go into activating senses, because we're not. That's a form – that's simply mental. Machio. We're not going to. They're already there. 
We don't need to do anything other than allow. Come to your senses. Then they'll come forth. For everybody, a little bit differently, but then they'll come forth. And suddenly, suddenly, the imagination, which is a sense, opens, and you stop trying to limit it and say, oh, it's just crazy thinking. No, it's a sense of imagination. A sense is a way of perceiving reality. That's all it is. It's a, it's a, uh, it's a different perspective of perceiving realities. As you open the sense of imagination, the perspective of reality shifts. Suddenly reality isn't so hard. Suddenly reality isn't so limited. Suddenly reality becomes, in a way, almost like a fantasy, fairy tale. And the mind says, well, you're just making this up. Damn right, mind, I am, because I am a creator, and I'm allowing. The, the, so the imagination dreams of uh, dreams are another sense. They're, they're not the wanderings of the mind at night, because you can't make that shit up uh, in, your, in your everyday mind. It's a different way of perceiving reality. It's a way of, as Calder wrote in his story, he wanted me to give him credit here, uh, it's a way of – dreams are a way of viewing ongoing stories, whether it's a past life, whether it's a story of a relationship you had years and years ago and no longer have it, you, you let that go. The story continues, and it's quite beautiful. There's a design in it, and dreams are a sense of perceiving. Dreams are not just crazy things because you ate too much pepperoni last night, uh, your mind going, going crazy. They're not. They're valid. They're parts of you. They're not trying to tell you something. There's no, for the most part, there's no great big secrets. They're ongoing stories. And as many of you know, you've had crazy dreams lately, big dreams, because you're coming to your senses, the sense of dreaming. Some of you weren't remembering your dreams. Now you are, and you wish you could go back to not remembering your dreams. <laughs> it's a way of perceiving. Now. We'll be talking how you can now steer your way around dreams. Which ones do you want to watch? It's like uh, you have all these uh, channels on your televisions these days. What do you want to watch? Right now the dreams are just kind of popping up, but we'll get into more of how to perceive. But oh, I do want to talk about one important sense as we come to our senses. I, I love that. Come to our senses. Uh, you know, stop that mind. Stop being so stu- Come to your senses. Open up. Uh, so this is a little shifting gears here. 